Good evening, everyone. I'm cold. Nate Actually, forgot no, to plug in the microphone. microphone sorry. So. <laughs> sorry. Here we go. We're on goof time. It is <gasps> July 14th, which is Bastille Day in, in France. It's also our 18th vlog. We did miss a day. We needed we a needed break. It. But now we're back, stronger than ever. And, well, what do you have for Brecky? Um, uh, we had English muffin. Oh, I had an English muffin. Two, two of them. With honey, peanut butter, and bananas on it. Bananas. Bananas. And I had two of those. And we did a lot today. So. Oh, and we, um, because we don't have a toaster because we're camping. Our dad turned on the stove and he put them on the frying pan. It came out good. It was no chicken. butter or anything. Just got all crispy. Yeah. It worked. Um, I know the answer to this, but I want to hear it. What was your favorite moment of the day? Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that straight away. That was an hour, two hours ago, three hours ago. Um, so, our, some of Dad's friends, they had this car, right? Um, it's limited edition, 2021, only 1,500 ever made. Corvette. Corvette. Chevrolet Corvette. Chev yeah, Chevrolet Corvette. It, it has a max speed of 194 miles an hour, and I got to go in it. And Grandma, your heart rate is probably spiking so much right now that it's about to explode and splatter all over her five blue place. Um, I went 100 miles an hour in it. And this was not the planned. Dad knew nothing about it. Neither did I. We visited Tom and Carol two weeks ago to meet Nate because they're really old friends of mine. Yeah. And Nate wanted to see the car. So Tom had to go out to his garage and unravel it and show it to Nate, and he was really excited to show it to him. This was like two weeks ago, guys. Yeah. And then today, Nate was like, I hope I can see the car. And I was like, oh, Nate, you've already seen it. Tom's not going to pull the cover off so you already see it again. Don't get your hopes up. And then when we showed up, and they had dinner ready for us, which was a treat for Dad. Pizza, by the way. Pizza. First pizza since you got here. Yeah. Tom's like, oh, I'm going to take Nate for a ride. Is that okay? And Nate's eyes popped, literally popped out of his head, <laughs> like a cartoon from the 80s. Like, what? what? <laughs> so, yeah, I was stoked you got to do that. Because I've never gotten to go on it, and I've known Tom for three years. Oh, yeah, we were, we were taking the turns, because this is like a sports car, right? Um, we were taking the turns at, like, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> um, and uh, interesting thing, it has eight gears and um, dual shifting. So what that is, it's got two clutches. So clutch one does gear one, three, five, seven. And then gear two does two, four, six, eight. And they actually alternate between clutches. So you're in one, it's on the first clutch. And then almost instantaneously is one D, sh like, um, D shifts the two kicks in, like, almost instantaneously. So it shifts faster than a human can. Yeah, and it's I reckon crazy. question three is what do you know today that you didn't know yesterday? That might be it, right? Yeah, that is that. That's it. Yeah. That are oh, there are such cars that have eight gears, can take turns at like forty miles an hour with no problem, and have eight gears with dual shifting. So. Okay. What was the most difficult moment of the day? Uh, when I had to leave Tom and Carol's house. <laughs> that was the most difficult. No. Um. Let me think. Something with the. trying to oh um yeah trying to convince mom and dad to get me a one wheeler and neither of them are on my side so. and this morning you wrote a, a really long passage that you skipped the morning pullman workout for to... i missed out on a run and i missed out on burpees we were at um we were at uh, a baby and its family just walked by cutest yeah. baby ever um is that for you claudia and leo <laughs> uh yeah, I wrote, wrote it, and I missed out, and I we were sitting at Stoked, and I was writing it, and really long. I'd be happy to share it with any of you guys out there if you, know, you want to see it's it. It's a very persuasive argument, uh, I have to say. Well, I'm sure about that. Neither of you agree with it, me. Just because, well, I wouldn't say that, but... Neither of you agree with me. It's your best writing I've ever read of yours, and the fact that you kept doing iterations, which is how good writing is done, uh, was really proud of your efforts mm -hmm. yeah if any of you out there would like wanting to back me up here <laughs> yeah. could back me up 
plays. I need it. Number five. Was anyone kind to you today besides Tom, who took you on a drive in his insane Corvette? Um. I know this answer. Um. <laughs> like cutting? Yeah, remember the girl, yeah, the um, woman, the, the instructor who chatted with yeah, you? Yeah, uh, but I met this girl at. Uh, she was a kite instructor, like kite boarding instructor. Um, and she was really nice to me. We we chatted, and she told me a bit about kiting. She asked me where I was from in Australia, and yeah, she was really nice. So. And what's today's new science fact? For the people out there. So it's sort of science, sort of science. Yeah. Um, so many of you may have heard the saying, or mo most of you will have heard the saying survival of the fittest now you guys probably think that that means survival of the strongest like survival of predators well actually no it doesn't mean that when um uh charles darwin, darwin? i thought it was darwin yeah when charles darwin said that when he said fit he meant fit for sexual or f fit for reproduction so when he says fittest best fit for reproduction so survival yeah so there we go. Um, tonight is sadly our last night in Hood River and our last <laughs> night at Tucker Park. Squirrel. Um, we got a squirrel in the camp. <laughs> and tomorrow we are going to Portland after spending some time here to hang out with Brian and Johan and Kirsten and Siobhan and Malika. But uh, besides that, what are we doing tomorrow? Um, in the morning we're kiting because uh, there's dawn patrol, which means that it's really good wind in the morning. Yep. Our dad and I, very excitingly, are body dragging. So dad's dad has a kite, right? He's wearing a harness, but instead of on a board, he's just dragging in the water, and I'm holding on to him. Yep. So we're doing that in the morning, which is really fun. That's going to be fun. And then when we're in Portland, we're going to go look at the one pint store there, right, Dad? There isn't one. I oh, looked. you said there was. I looked. And all of them have no. There's none in stock. So, apart from all the other struggles you're having with the one pints, the world right now is going through a serious lack of materials. And every shop we've looked at, including Cali Kites in San Francisco, which I thought I'd take you to on Saturday, because my buddy Brian runs it, they are the only one pint dealer in San Francisco. They're completely out of stock on all the models and so are most stores including the one in portland so even if you wanted one tomorrow yeah. and your mom and i agreed that it would be okay and or you won the lottery and got the money you couldn't have one that's an awful feeling i know but who knows what the future will bring you guys disagreeing with me more keep 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 plugging away with your catalogs and, and you know make your own yeah money. completely self-funded 2075 bucks guys Australian, one fourteen hundred American. It's like five hundred bucks American. No, fourteen hundred. All right. Well, what do you have to say to your peeps in Australia? You're gonna see them in three days. Mm. Please back me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I really, uh, I've really missed you guys, and I'm glad to be, to get back there. But I'm really gonna miss America. There you go. And what about um, your random peeps in in the U.S.? Um. It's a beautiful um, summer. Uh, you guys really should have come to see us. Uh, I missed, man, we missed seeing you guys, but yeah. if you wanted to see us, you should have come up to us, up or down, depending yep. on where you lived. And uh, I think that's all I got. We've got mm. one more to go, and then that's the end of the vlog series. Hopefully you'll mm. remain doing maybe a vlog back in Australia once a week or twice a week. But We'll see. Yeah. We will be seeing. Any last words? Back me up. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. out.